Alright, we're playing more Celeste. We're just getting to the second chapter. The first chapter took me a good 20 minutes or so, but to be fair, there's a lot of dicking around. I think my friend can beat it in something like 30 seconds. So it's a little, it's a little faster, slightly faster. Um, <laughs> I love this! Starbucks will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want them to. This is the postcard being sent by... Ooh. Ooh! Does this have the same thing, though, that I can generate some of the text and then come... Oh, never mind. Can't go back down this way. I have to use the menu for that. Alright, let's go. Already, the aesthetic is getting crazy. Okay. Spooky door. In the cliffside, a ghastly doorway. Some Richard Dawson lyrics for you. This is strange. This music is beautiful, but I already knew the soundtrack of this game was godlike. I've heard it in many other contexts already. And then you can push the little blobs around. It's so cute. Um, looks like I can go down here because there's light coming from it. This, I think, is going to be something that, like, later in this world, I'll gain the ability to drill through or something. I'm getting that vibe. Can I go further down here? That one's like a slightly different color, it looks like, or maybe that's just the lighting. Hmm. Labyrinthian. And by that I mean there has been two branching paths and I'm already lost. Interesting. So no unique sound effects for this mysterious substance. I don't know, maybe we can't bust through these. Because, like, you have to bust through it to get that strawberry, but, like, how would you navigate through this room if you busted through it? Okay, so that just takes me back there. There's nothing else down here, right? Oh, I could go this way. Can I go even further down? Oh, boy. This feels like starting Super Metroid. You know, you just fall past all this stuff, and you're like, can I go in there? Should I go in there? Will I eventually be able to go in there? Okay, this is this is more straightforward. Just can you make these jumps? Answer. We'll see. That's tough. Um Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. Gotta think about this more like a puzzle game. And by that I mean look to see if there's spikes where I think there's spikes. <laughs> Don't assume there's spikes where there's not. One of the great puzzlers of our time. Nice. Oh no, I see a secret! What the heck? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Things have gotten weirder faster than I thought they would. I'm trying to make Shadow Celeste go into... Shadow Celeste... Can dash? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a villain? Okay. Thank, thank you. Shadow Celeste. Look at this distortion effect in the mirror. Who in the? What? Oh! So that answers my question. You can still stand on it. But you can also drill through it. Okay. What do you have to say about this phenomenon? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why show me that? <laughs> you think I'm a genius? What am I to do? Blam. 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 <laughs> no. No, there must be a smarter way. Um... Maybe you get at that from a different room? This is such a funny little device. The fact that it introduces something so weird and like existentially crazy as your mirror image busting out and then distorting reality. And then they add this, which seems at once like it's just a way to show off the awesome parallax scrolling on this like galaxy gunk 
which, you know, is fantastic and should be shown off. And then it hints at this little puzzle. But this is like such a mundane mechanic, you know? This is just the equivalent of hitting like R and L in Super Mario World. So the fact that they introduced this at the same time as the other is like so bizarre to <laughs> I was so curious what would happen. I did not think that's what would happen. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's moving. Okay. I'm just gonna move past that. Woo! You get so much momentum coming out of it. I love it. Okay. This is the central area kind of place again, I think. So I want to go back here and get the secret that I missed. I said that I wouldn't do, like, crazy secret hunting, but if it's one that I, like, noticed, I'm gonna go back and get it. Probably. Unless it's hard. <laughs> no, this shouldn't be right. Okay. What did I do before? Wham! Oh, this is the room... Yeah, this is the room of the broken mirror. Okay, sweet. So we, we solved two mysteries simultaneously. What is this thing up here? It looks like a ghost book. I love it. Okay, now we go back up this way. Oh, the back... Oh, my God. Oh, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> Why haven't I played this game? Why was nobody telling me to play this game? <laughs> that straw. Ooh, but if I go down, I'm just gonna die. Well, let's try it. I, I was able to grab the wall for like a second, but then I don't have my dash. Can I like... Like if I... I was trying to make it so that I touched this at the end of my dash, so I might have like less burst through energy when I get to the other side, but it looks like it's a fixed amount. I can go through at a diagonal. That doesn't... Oh! I jump at it from this direction. Yeah. But now I'm trapped? Oh wait, no, 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 no. I got my, I got my dash back, I think. I just didn't use it for some reason. Yeah! Give me that straw. Uh, so where haven't we gone? We, we just totally Metroided open this area. There's all sorts of new things we can do. These are like moving around now too. What this actually reminds me of most is Yume Niki. There's a lot of things, uh, not even so much Yume Niki, but Yume Niki, uh, the fan-made sequel, has a lot of areas that like, they just like come alive at a certain point. And like the music kind of switches up like this, and a lot of stuff that you just thought was kind of decorative and stationary now becomes like really active, really like. Oops. I want to go up here. Oh, um, okay. This, this has the same sort of energy. This is a secret. So if I go here, I'm just going to die. Okay. So we got to like cut it. Yeah! Yeah! Cut that shit! I feel like... Oh, I was gonna say, feel like Kevin Gates the way I'm cutting it! That line is really lame when you die. Kevin Gates has a song called Cut It. Oh, this is like a sliding block puzzle! Sort of. It has that, like, line it up, bub. Oh. Slow down, what? BS, I thought I was going to a secret area, but I guess I should learn now that right is secret, up is path progress. So is this my mirror person? Concerned observer. I'm part of you. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I mean, I, I've heard from my friend that this game gets into some, you know, some pretty deep personal stuff. 
um, that I'm sure will resonate quite strongly with me as well. And I don't know, I can feel the the outer parts of it, but when I'm playing the game, I just I'm having so much fun that it's gonna really take me uh, catch me off guard, I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, the obvious read here is that this is a metaphor for making Celeste itself. That Maddie was kind of pushing themselves to the limit and, and really maybe neglecting other areas of their life in order to work on this. Because they need to make Celeste that sort of equivalence of statement, maybe? If you are not a programmer, equivalently? But this is like a very surface take. I, I think there's much more at play here. But I understand, like, I, I reach out to that sort of interpretation because I can, it resonates very deeply with me. I, I feel the need to do stuff like that, too. Like, it, it really feels like... Um, I don't have to sacrifice very much for my own artistic projects, but I really do think that I would if I needed to, like... <laughs> But the, in the end, those sorts of things would come first. Ooh, I don't either! I don't either! I'm so excited! I probably can't! I'm probably gonna die 800,000 times! Ooh! I like that Madeline has this sort of attitude, too. Usually you have, like, the hero in this sort of games is, is kind of transcendentally pure. Is, is more just, uh an avatar onto the player um, and is either like maybe totally silent and inanimate even though he has a major role in the story like quote in cave story or like mario you know like, wahoo is just relentlessly positive um and and even in games where the player is taken on some sort of like introspective journey or something usually the player character isn't very abrasive um but he What? Wait, now it's working. For a while the mic wasn't, like, the feedback monitor on the mic wasn't working? And I'm not sure if it was actually picking up my voice or if it was just also recording the desktop audio. I don't know, I guess I'll have to go back and watch the bot. What did I even say? It's things like, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Feels like a boss battle. This is a boss battle! Wait, what's going on? Oh, I gotta run. I gotta run from myself. Okay. We can do that, because our movement is so bad that we ourselves are limited by our bad movement. Oh, I had to dodge myself on the way back there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I had to time that right, and I just did. Uh, what about that straw? Uh, no time for the straw. Uh, we gotta outmaneuver ourselves a little bit. This is cool. There is a mechanic like this in. Oh. There's a mechanic like this in Mario Galaxy. But I feel like in 3D space, it doesn't have the same feeling of. claustrophobia, I guess. It's very. It's a lot easier to take a different route back places. Whereas here, I feel like I have to actually delay myself in ways. Oh, I can one-way pick the spikes. Okay, how do I get up there? Ah, oh, how do I get up there? <laughs> um, how do I get up there? If I just chill out here for a bit, she'll also just chill out there for a bit. <laughs> That's cute. Um, let's 
so... Ah, dang. Should've known. Oh, easy. Yeah, because I have my dash after I... after I, uh... go through Galaxy Block. Oops. Huh? Ah! <laughs> so <fun. laughs> uh, just trying to delay myself there a little bit. Oh man. Ah, I should have known. Oh, finally. Uh, let's just go. Oh! Uh, I saw a straw, but no time, no time. Um, um, okay, that was obvious. Obviously bad. Ooh, I like the reintroduction of these, like, ice blocks. It feels, like, so kind of nostalgic now. Can I do something like... No. That's what I want to do. I want to see what's going on up here. Or maybe it's too hard. Like, I'm gonna go like... Uh... Okay, because I get my dash... Oh, I see what I can do. Ah! Let's go! What's up here? Strawberry, let's go! No, they're coming for me. Yeah. Oh, the strawberry. How do I get that? Uh, this is bad. <laughs> Alright, forget it. That one's too hard. Gotta keep running. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, oops. Go, 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 go. Did I have, like, beaten that block? Huh? How did that work? How did that work? No, because it covers the... It covers the path. Uh, uh, uh. No. Go, 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 go. Ah, I th have I missed that jump every time? Why am I missing that jump every time? Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think, you know, it's not like there's a penalty for death. So it's not like I really have to panic here. I can kind of just take it more slowly and, you know, if they, like, kill me, they kill me. But I feel like it's kind of fun to play this room in, like, a really panicky way. Like, this whole segment. It feels like the fitting of, you know, what's going on in the plot and stuff. So we're just going to keep throwing ourselves at it until, miraculously, it just works out. So I think I can climb up there to get that strawberry. But, given the length of this room, I think the odds of that happening on a successful run... Or actually, it doesn't need to be a successful run. As long as I get the strawberry, it doesn't matter if I die. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no, 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 Okay, okay. I'm gonna go for the strawberry. I don't think we've been getting many strawberries in this world compared to the first worlds. Go. The way that they have that strawberry visible there is like so good. It reminds me of like really classic, like like great cave offense and Kirby Superstar is what 
comes to mind. It's very, very high praise for me in terms of level design. Uh, yeah! And we're still going! And we're just gonna die to this part! <laughs> I knew it. As soon as the blocks started crumbling, I was like, wait, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. No strawberry. We ate that. It's like I'm trying to jump for some reason. I think because I, I fall, and I'm like, oh, I haven't used my jump. But that's not how it works. I have to dash. Like that. That's cool. Go. No, I forgot. Why did I forget? This is interesting because it's like, I don't necessarily want to go fast. Because the faster I go, the faster they catch up with me. <laughs> it's like... But then if I wait, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna die. Ah, uh, ah! Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, what is this? But it's like, if you make that kind of mistake, it's kind of okay, because they're all gonna make that mistake too. It's very interesting. It, Definitely rewards odd uh, like smoothness and speed, but it doesn't punish like movement mistakes that badly. It just punishes like only fatal mistakes. Which is pretty cool. Go 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 go! No! <laughs> No! Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Go. Go, go, go. Wait, dash, dash dance. Oh my god, why am I pressing jump? here once before. Yeah. Uh. Oh no! I smashed right into the freaking wall! It's okay. It's like, I, I just... I need to, like, figure out what's going on in that room a little more. Because I think I, like, went for the platform that's going to drop down. I if it was a key. Dash. Okay. Easy. Easy. Up over here. Look. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on. And then I'm just gonna run. It's probably secrets, but I'm just gonna run. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna keep running. Oh! You've had enough, have you? Well, now I'm gonna go look for secrets. <laughs> Yes. No! No secrets! I guess this chapter is like over. Look at that insane fastball. I'm so squishy. I love it. Alright. Interesting. I thought that might be the end of the stage since I couldn't go backwards. 
Is there like something more going on here? I can't go in this door or anything. That still just kills me. Oh, this is very cool. It's just kind of like a... you can just like have fun with it now. Or you can find a secret when you're a genius. Uh, oh boy. That's clearly not what I was supposed to do. I'm sorry, Madeline! <laughs> okay, what, what am I to do here? Maybe, like... Yeah? And then I can... Oh. Then I have to go down the same way, I guess. Because I'm not going to be able to just go straight down. What? Y yeah? No! Okay, uh, go straight sideways there, I guess. Wait. Wait, what was the plan? There we go. <laughs> For a second, I didn't think I could, like, make that jump. Oh, not that spot. Any spot but that spot. Oh, that feels so cool. Oh, that feels so cool. And I love that, like, you know, the instinct is just to go straight up, right? And then you're like, wait a minute. What do I do? Wait, wait maybe you could just go straight up. I don't know. Whatever. Wait, I see another secret. Up, up, up. Down. Yeah, what's going on here? Okay. 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 Maybe like straight up? That seemed kind of promising. No. Like... No. Like, is that possible? I want to go like as far over this way as I can. Or can I just, like, boost again really fast? Ah, uh, that almost seemed like it was gonna work. Is that gonna work? I can't tell. Kinda feeling like no. What if I do... Now I'm here. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, what to do? Oh, I just have to get good. Obviously. Hmm. What did I do differently? What What did I do differently? Now it's easy. Eh, whatever. Let's just go. Sequence slightly different. <laughs> That's actually so funny. <laughs> Just get galaxy into the wall. Poor Madeline. This feels like the end of the chapter. I think we did okay. We got stuck on that one room for a while. Right, let's see what's going on here. Information kiosk and a payphone ringing for us. Hello. Ooh, phone person. You called from a pick. You called me. Oh, that's very interesting. That like, the person on the phone is like, "Are you calling from a payphone?" But the payphone was ringing, and we picked it up. And yet we go along with this. This is like very strange. Like, it creates this disconnect from Madeline and the player, where now we're not sure why Madeline is, like, saying this, is going on with this, like, distorted reality. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> but for a second there, I was like, what? What's wrong with Madeline? What are you talking about? 
Doesn't right? matter. I'm in trouble. Madeline's in trouble? I thought we were having a jaunty mountain climb. Pink. Oh, oh, this is very interesting too. Because like we have that, you know, the sequence where she confronts her, this part of herself. Part of herself chases you through the level and then it like ends. And then it feels like both the the gameplay relevance like the fact that we as the, the player are relieved because that person chasing Madeline isn't gameplay relevant anymore. That it's like somehow very disturbing that Madeline, the character, is still being affected by that. Like it, you know, it makes perfect sense <laughs> that she would be like, yeah, something weird just happened. But <laughs> like in in my my playing instincts, you know, when that sort of thread is removed from the gameplay. It should be like somehow magically just removed from the psyche of my my player too. There's no one in danger. I can feel it. Shit's getting real. Why don't you call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night? Oh my gosh. So I feel like my mic had cut out for a lot of it, but I went on like a long tangent. Or not really tangent, I guess, but a long <laughs> section on how I thought. Madeline's determination to climb Mount Celeste could be analogous to Maddie, the developer, their quest to complete the game Celeste. Um, and how this was kind of a surface level reading, you know, it's, it's, it's maybe one of the first things you would think of in thinking of this game like metaphorically. Um, but that A, it was like very resonant with me, but I, I also feel like this kind of compulsion to sometimes quite manically work on projects and finish them. Um, willing to sacrifice things, fortunately not really having to sacrifice very much in my case. Um, but this, this again, it feels like we're speaking on multiple levels here, and that this is something very reflective of the real developer, perhaps, that they also are the type of manic to contact people in the middle of the night when they're panicking. Who among us has not? Whoa. Oh, I'm not making it up. Always do this. The the use of the shifting text, at first very ironic and like kind of cheeky with the magical faraway place of Seattle, now becoming actually kind of I don't know like what is Madeline's relationship with this person? They seem genuinely considerate. They're really trying to bridge out to Madeline. Wow, see again, it's like, it's so jarring to hear about gameplay sequences in the narrative like this. <laughs> it really does sound like a dream. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. So it just straight up is a dream, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get that out of the way in chapter two. Sure. Why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? But oh man, having dreams about people you haven't talked to in a while. Sometimes that can be really painful. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> Excuse me? Am I... Wait. Wait, what? Wait. So, I am really climbing the mountain. But that whole stage was a dream. And now it's like the same area, the same like castle zone, but it's like sane and normal. Oh, is this going to be like, what was that? Did you see something pop up? Maybe my camera obscured it, but something popped up in the bottom right that was, it looked like cartoony. Like it looked like a totally different sort of visual. It was really strange. So now this guy's here again in the same terrain. I'll just go stand in his fire. Oh, 
Aww, she's kind of friendly with him now. That's nice. Aww. So like, oh, he's like not even that popular. Oh, that's so endearing. Aww. You can do it, Theo. Let's make content on the internet and make numbers go up. Um, so is this going to be like kind of the pattern of the game maybe? That you do actual crazy platforming with all sorts of wacky mechanics and twists and stuff. But then that's just a dream. And then you explore kind of calmly the same version of those same landscapes and, and chat with your buddy Theo. That seems nice. Oh, he's totally hitting on us. Yeah, I don't know about that. Aww. Hey, that's a nice selfie. All right, that's fine. Let's chat some more. Oh. Aww. Oh, Madeline. <laughs> oh, are we gonna filter it up? Oh. Casual yet refined. I feel like that's a reference to something. No! Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> what was Hooter's motto? Delightfully tacky yet unrefined. Not even close. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of Hooter's. I was so convinced for like half a second that this was the cat, the the motto of Hooters. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. Hmm. Aw, that is nice. That is very nice. I've never really had that sort of parental hobby sharing to any like major extent. Mostly when it does exist, it's like things that we got into at the same time or things that I introduced my parents to. Not so much things that they did, like, did as a hobby growing up that I started doing too. Not that I can think of. Gotta climb that mountain. I'm done breaking promises to myself. That's a nice idea. That's a nice thing to, to say. Because it's like not really that spiteful because you're also like the victim. It's not like you can really get all that mad at yourself for breaking a promise to yourself. But at the same time, it's it's nice in a way of like being self-compassionate to be like, if I've promised myself to do something, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I bet he ends up going all the way to the top, albeit in a less sane fashion. Ooh, Smaho Janai, what? What an interesting person this Madeline is. <laughs> All right, he's done talking. He doesn't know how to respond. So even though this is like real life now, I can still dash. I can still climb absurdly well. I love this lighting effect too. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. The softness of it and the way that like, things in the foreground kind of light at different rates. The way it kind of goes around these corners. What in the world? How does this game look so good? Okay. So this is just interlude -y type stuff. The timer for chapter two is still going. I guess that's it. These blocks are like fascinating to me. Half ice, half stone. What's going on? This is near the end of what I thought was chapter two, where we were bouncing around with all the galaxy blocks. There's a secret up here. There's still a secret up here. Okay. Ooh. Um, 
What? Okay. There's no way I can make that jump without dashing, right? What? I can just go straight here. So clearly that's not the goal. How in the world? Ah! What? No! Okay, I don't get it. I don't get it. There's no way. There's just no way. I don't understand. And yet I feel like if there was like a new mechanic that I just don't have, there's no way they would introduce this mechanic in like a puzzle room like this, right? I feel like if they're showing me this, they've allowed me to get here. I must be able to beat this. What? It's impossible! That's like... There's no way I can get more than like a few pixels closer to doing that. Alright, well I give up. Can think about this later. As I said before, I just kind of want to do a playthrough of it, and then we can think about like actually trying to hundo p it and what have you. So this is where I had the call in the dream before. Just like a ground texture over here too. It's so mysterious. What does it mean? Could it symbolize something? Okay, let's just. So we beat the, the chapter because the timer stopped. So after this cutscene, we'll uh, cut to a, a new video, I suppose. And now I call what looks to be my grandma. Maybe because I had that conversation. No, because this would probably happen regardless if I had gone through that many dialogue loops. It's my mom. Aww. What a nice surprise. Oh. She's not the type to call very often. I feel that. Oh. Oh. Nice mom. Alright, we did it. Chapter complete. Got a solid... how many deaths? Ooh, only seven strawberries and 85 deaths. The strawberry count is going down fast. The death count is going up quick. 57 and 17. 85 and 7. Oh no. By these rates, we should have something like 120 deaths here and zero strawberries, negative three strawberries if possible. But we will have to find out in the next exciting video. I, I don't know if I can keep doing one chapter per video because these videos are going to get insanely long <laughs> as the chapters get harder. Okay, we'll see. Bye bye.